Hi all, welcome to another video of our Auto tutorial. Today, in this video, we will be discussing on the SQL constraints in Auto 15. So, uh, as Auto uh, helps you to set constraints to variants by which we can perform various functions. So, there are two types of constraints that is a Python constraints and um, SQL constraints. Through Python constraints, we can set uh, the constraints using the API.constraints decorator and another method is using the SQL constraints. So we'll be discussing about the SQL constraints in this video. So let's get into it. Let's say uh, this is a auto.tutorial model in which we have the different fields that is name, fee, instructor ID, ace prime, description, tutorial date, etc. Let's say we need to add two uh, conditions, I mean two check conditions where the first one will be the name, that is the name field should be unique. That is, no, no two tutorials should have the same name. And another check condition will be that is the name and the description field should not be equal and should not be the same. So let's add that. So for that, let's say uh, we just check for SQL constraints inside the search function. And so I'll just copy one from here. Let's say I'll just copy this SQL constraints here. I'll just paste it here so first one is the name unique function then sql constraints you access three arguments i mean uh three methods that is uh first we'll have to add the definition that is underscore sql underscore constraints the first one will be the name for the sql constraint that is let's say i'm adding it uh for the unique name constraint that i'll just add this name underscore let's say unique and the, the second one will be the definition that is a constraint to be applied on the table. So as this is an SQL constraint, this conditions will be applied directly to our Postgres table. So the second one is a definition that is the constraint to be applied on the table. Let's say um, there are different conditions uh, which we can use in the definition that is unique, check, not null. I'll show that. So first I'll use the unique constraint here that is unique inside the bracket we need to specify the field to which we are applying this constraint that is as we are checking for the name field i'm just adding this it as unique space inside the bracket i'm adding the field name that is name next uh, is a message to be displayed that is this will be the validation error message which will be displayed so let's say um tutorial name already exists okay i'll just um, align it a bit next i'll add another one also let's uh, say name underscore description underscore check okay uh, next i'll use the check constraint here that is check uh, okay next inside the bracket we need to add the conditions I mean the condition in the check condition so uh, inside that I'll just say add a, a name not equal to the description that is by using this constraint it will check whether the name and the description fields are not equal and if they are not equal I mean if they are equal uh, it will return a validation here so let's say uh, just add the validation as Tutorial name and description should be different. Okay, now let's restart the service. As this is a uh, constraint which is applied directly to the table, we need to upgrade our module. Now let's upgrade our module. So let's search. Let's run this tutorial. Upgrade. Okay. After upgradation, uh, we have come to the mod. I mean, module view. So let's create a record. First, let's say um, I'll add the name. Name. Tutorial. Add the instructor. 
let's see uh, let's try to I mean add his description here add the the details I'll save the record just copy the tutorial name here uh, just create another one the same name as the earlier one so it's okay now on saving this record we can see that a validation error is returned here that is the tutorial name already exists so that is a unique constraint which you have set that is name unique and unique of name that is no two tutorial names can have the same name so as you have said the unique constraint here the validation error that is tutorial name already exists is returned and similarly uh, we'll just add another okay now we'll save this we can see that on changing the name the record is saved let's see now i'll create another one with the name test one add the instructor now let's say i'm adding the same um, name as the description here now if i click on the save button we can see that another validation error is returned that is tutorial name and description should be different that is th this is returned from the check constraints which i set here that is the name uh, description check is returned that is check name not equal to descriptions that is if this is not uh, if this is returned false that is if name and descriptions are same the validation error is returned here that is tutorial name and description should be different so uh, this is about the um, sql constraints so here we have discussed about the unique and the check constraints and similarly we have another constraint that is not null constraints etc so i hope you have understood the video